Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the lack of videos this week. I was in New York City a few days for Fashion Week and I just got so sidetracked and I just really didn't have any time this week. So I wanted to sit down today and film a video for you guys. I've seen this video request so many times so I figured I'd finally sit down and talk about it because I have literally tried a million different techniques trying to cover up dark circles underneath my eyes. Um, one thing that you guys get to look forward to if you don't have some dark circles is with age they love to come out if you don't get enough sleep or if you're out a little bit late the night before they just like to stand out even more. So I've literally tried a million techniques and I found one that works great for me for covering dark circles. If you guys have bags under your eyes disregard this video because this is more to cover up the darker purple or blue toned under eyes. So if you guys want to learn my technique please keep watching. So I'm going to take off half of my under eye that way I can show you guys the full steps as to what I do. So I'm just using a wet wipe and I'm going to take off the cake under my eyes. I just have my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to start dabbing under my eyes just to get away any sharp lines that I just erased. But you can see the big difference that I have from this eye to this eye. Um, to be honest, this morning my eyes were a lot darker. Um, I had a late night last night, so the goal is to get rid of that. I also have darkness on the sides of my nose that always makes my nose look wider. So it's kind of like a whole process to highlight and contour just to kind of fix your features, so to say. So again, I'm just taking this damp beauty blender with nothing on it and just kind of dabbing around where I wiped off. Okay, so step one is going to be to apply an eye cream. This one is by Bobbi Brown. It's the Extra Repair Eye Cream. This one is a bit pricey, so if you guys are on a budget, just go and find any sort of eye cream that's thick in consistency because one of the problems that I have is, or that I had in the past was, when I was trying to cover my dark circles, it would look really, really like spotted and dry looking underneath my eyes. And... I never knew what it was. I figured it was either too much powder, too much product, like, I don't even know. But by adding eye cream before everything, it's going to really help keep your eyes moisturized and it's going to be a nice base for the product that you're about to use. Okay, so you're just going to dab that on. So the next step is going to be primer. This one is the Smashbox Color Correcting Primer. To be honest, um, I don't think there's a huge difference if you're going to be using this primer. It is a salmon colored and it's supposed to help with the color correction, um, but when you put so much product over it, it really kind of cancels it out and um, it doesn't do a huge difference. So if you don't want to buy the color correcting primer, don't think that this is a necessary step. I'm just going to be using it just to show you guys. So I'm going to dab that underneath my eye as well. And if I were doing my whole face, I would obviously apply the primer all over my face, not just underneath my eyes. So there are no sharp lines. I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation that I used, the Chanel in number 40, and I'm applying a little bit to my beauty blender that's also damp. And I'm going to just start dabbing right around the area. You don't need to put this foundation underneath your eyes because... You are going to apply concealer, so it's really just preference for you guys. If you prefer to put the foundation all the way up, which sometimes I do, you can do that, but it is optional. So next comes the color correcting part. This is an orange concealer. This one is from NYX, and it's bright orange. I mentioned this in my recent drugstore highlight and contour video. The orange really cancels out the dark under eye, whether you have like bluish or purplish tints. I have found that this really helps keep your eyes looking nice and bright throughout the day. Um, 
some of you guys probably realize that if you do your makeup and you set it, it looks really, really great, but then after an hour or two or a few hours, you start to see your dark circles peeking through. So what the orange is going to do, it's going to be a base for the concealer, so if the concealer starts to fade a little bit, it's going to pop through and then cancel out the dark shades. If you guys have seen the different colored concealers, there's green, there's purple, there's yellow, there's orange, they all do different things. If you guys want to brighten up your dark circles, I recommend using a bright orange like this or a coral color. I prefer the orange. I'm just taking a little bit on my brush. This is the Sephora Airbrush Concealer Brush and I'm applying it right where there's dark. So right along here is where I'm going to apply it and only right here. You don't want to put it all under your eye and you don't want to put too much because if you don't have the purplish undertones it's going to look orange under your concealer and it's going to do absolutely nothing for you. So again just apply a little bit right under your eye. And it's gonna look silly at first, but that's gonna be covered, so don't you worry. So next comes concealer. I love the Laura Mercier Camouflage Concealer. I've always loved it, but it's a very dry concealer, so for most people it's really hard to blend and it looks cakey after a few hours. I've recently stopped using that and I switched over to a more liquid concealer. Um, the one that I was using for the past few months is the Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC. This one is NC20 and I absolutely love this one. A drugstore alternative that is absolutely amazing and it's another one of my favorites is the Maybelline Age Rewinds um, Dark Circle Eraser. This one's great. And another one that I just picked up last week from Ulta is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, this one I've been using the past couple of days and I actually really, really love it. So this is going to be the one I'm going to use in this video, but again, just feel free to use a concealer that you prefer. I recommend using a creamy one if you have the darker circles because it's kind of a few layers that we have to apply to really keep the under eye super bright and locked in for all day coverage. So I'm just taking a little bit and I'm applying it right on the back of my hand. And I'm using my MAC 287 brush to blend that in underneath my eye. And I'm just taking a little bit on my hand and dabbing it like this. And I'm going to start tapping it underneath my eye, right over the orange and just right under my eyes. And then I like taking my damp beauty blender and just pressing it in a little bit more. And I'm just very lightly pressing. So before I started using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I was using um, the Brightening Powder. I'm not exactly sure the name of it, but I actually just ran out of it yesterday. I got every last bit out of it and then I had to throw it away, so I moved on to the Translucent Setting Powder. You want to make sure you're using a Translucent Powder, something that's really, really fine because if you use the wrong type of powder, that's what's going to really dry up your under eye. So I'm just taking some on my Damp Beauty Blender and putting it under my eye. And this is going to help prevent creasing and it's going to help keep it on all day. I have little creases underneath my eye and they just won't ever fully go away. So I just like to draw a nice faded line underneath my lower lash line. And that really covers up those wrinkles that just concealer won't cover up alone. So now I set it with the powder and you can see it just has a nice flawless finish. It doesn't look really like gooey and um, shiny like it just previously did. So the next thing that I do is I take a pressed powder that's a little bit of a fuller coverage. This one's by Revlon. I love this powder. It's a great powder. You can get it right from your drugstore. Other powders that I love are the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. That one's really great as well, but this one works just as good, so I wanted to show it to you guys. I'm using the MAC 227 brush, and I'm taking a little bit on my brush, just dabbing it on, and then I'm going to be placing it right underneath where you could still see that line. Like right here, I'm going to press it in. So 
So that is the final step for setting the dark circles underneath your eye. I'm just going to fix my blush and bronzer so I'm all even and I look like I didn't wash off half my face. But I found that's the best way to really cover up those dark circles and keep them covered all night. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. If you guys do try out this technique and find that it works for you, please give me feedback because I love hearing how my tricks work for all of you guys. I swear I have had the struggle for so long now and this technique really, really covers up the dark circles and really brightens up my face and I've been so happy with this routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, really quickly, my earrings are from Ludora Boutique and she's having 40% off sale right now so I will link everything below in the description box for those of you guys who want to try it out so I hope you enjoyed and until next time I'll see you guys later